<laughs> well, day seven, guys, is gonna be a tear down and travel day. I probably would have stayed another day or two, but my battery on my ice auger, I got one of those electric ice augers. I love the thing, it's, it's the best thing ever, but in a rare situation like this where you're not allowed to bring your generator out here, um, my battery's dead. So I would, my, my plan was to just charge it every two or three days with a, with a little Honda generator I brought, but whereas this is still considered wilderness, you're not allowed to bring generators out. So well, I did run the battery back to the truck and, and charge it uh, mid, middle of the week. I didn't quite need it, but just to make sure and got a full charge and then I drilled a lot of holes searching for those trout and then when I went down and fished with the boys I drilled a bunch of holes down there so battery is dead otherwise this is like the nicest day yet weather wise since I've been here where I'd stay I, I got half mine just take the axe and cut some holes and fish a little bit but I don't know it's been it's been a really good week uh, probably ought to get out of here while uh, while things are still good and I got a good five hour drive to get home and uh, got quite a while to break down camp, get everything out of here and get everything tidied up and pack, packed and squared away in the truck. So that's the plan for day seven, day seven, travel and tear down day. Once you get it, all the tie downs unscrewed, I come in and make sure everything looks good. Break down the middle first. All you gotta do is pop that down. Just like that. And then I like to screw the door. I like to zip the door. And it might be a problem with it being all frozen in. But we're going to see if we can just break it away. So otherwise, I'm just going to go around and push each one of these in. And if it wasn't frozen on the edges, it would just fall down on itself and be ready to pack up. All right, so that's pretty well ready to be broke down. Just like that. Now I gotta dig out the edges. I use the old foot shovel to get this clear so I can fold the thing up. Just like that, as they say in Canada, Bob's your uncle. What'd you get, bud? Uh, two nice rookies. Holy cow. Now, last time I saw you, you had one nice rookie. Yeah. What happened since then? I uh, got another. <laughs> that is a monster. I was over um, just checking out some ice, and then Dad said flag, and I ran over to it, and I thought he got off at first. When I tugged on it, it the 
we gave some slack and then I tugged on it again and then he came up out of the ice. Is that the biggest trout you've ever caught? This was the biggest trout. <laughs> until I like this one. You got one personal best and then you topped it. Let's take a look at those things. Man, that is a huge, huge brook trout. From Dixmont, Maine. I'm 13, I go to Nokomis in Newport, Maine, and I love fishing, hunting, and doing everything in the outdoors. What's your favorite thing about coming up here? Uh, just seeing everything. Yeah. Yeah, bear hunting. Yeah. And uh, I've shot two bear up here so far, and hopefully we get more. Oh, you'll definitely get more. There's plenty of bear up here. What a beautiful brook trout. Yeah, you guys, you guys worked hard. So, so these guys were actually on the lake the first day I was here on this trip a week ago and gave me some good advice and was, was awful pleasant talking to. And today's the day I'm picking up leaving. It's actually the nicest day yet for weather-wise, but here I am leaving. But that happens. But it's, it's amazing the, the great people you run into when you're fishing. And these guys probably live half hour, 45 minutes from me at home. And here we are four or five hours away. Yeah, exactly. And it's, exactly, it's man. The you best. can't beat it. You got it. Yep. And you drive back home, and it's, it is what it is. You know yep. what I mean? Awesome. And it's beautiful just being here in northern Maine and nobody bugging you. And... 9.30 <laughs> in the morning. Yeah. 9.30, you, you, got, you guys got... got and you said 10 o'clock. Most of the day I mean, left. And here it is. So yeah, those awesome. big brookies have been eating at 10. Yeah. But yeah, wow. what a staven fish, yeah. Andrew. Yeah. Nice wow. fish, man. Nice job, buddy. Yeah, high awesome. five there. Awesome. Don't leave them hanging, awesome. and I'll take one, too. Good fish, bud. I'm gonna get some good flies off the fins. I love the white. I love the yeah, white on the front of those fins. Like I said, this today was the biggest fish I've ever caught. These are the biggest fish I've ever caught. How seen. happy are you? Very happy. What time did you guys get up this morning to get here? Uh, we woke up at quarter to two. Quarter to two? Quarter to two. We left, yeah, uh, we left the house exactly at two, and it's three. Just about three hours. How many kids is A drop at quarter two? Oh, no, 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 no. This guy, and this guy loves it. You know what I mean? He yeah. does it. He does it like. And it's worth know, it, isn't yeah. it, buddy? I might have slept for an hour on the way. Hey, but that well, that's matter. that's the beauty of not having your driver's license yet. And look at how pretty that is. I love it. Jeez, what a, that is a staving brook trout. Good for fish. you, bud. You're not lying, man, Andrew. I'm proud of you, buddy. Dude, that's like. It's been he, a good year for you. Andrew. <laughs> no, no. I'm videoing. Easy, easy. That's a big one. Oh, another oh, big one. <laughs> oh, wow. Hi, buddy. Yeah, nice. Oh, look at that. Good hook set. Probably another 16. Yeah. Wow, he's a strong boy. Boys, oh boys. Everything. You got him? <laughs> I can't quite oh, get him. Look at the eggs, female. Look at her. She, see? Oh, yeah. Wow. Nice one. Look at that, Andrew. That's a pretty one, man. Yeah. Look at the fins. Look at the eggs. Huh? Those are good bait, too. Yeah. Wow. Didn't even take much line. Yep. Oh. There you go. It's hard throwing a giant huh? back huh? like that, but <laughs> what's the chances of that, huh, buddy? Where you got to throw him in? <laughs> Best day ever. When you got to release a 16-incher, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. Good job, bud. Nice job, man. My hands are rolling. That's all right. <laughs> and that's a wrap, guys. I uh, had a great time. Awesome week. Super, super cold, but I stayed comfortable in that shack and and on the ice hope this video gives you guys some confidence to do something like that on your own or, or do some winter camping or winter ice fishing. If you have any questions, feel free, put them in the comment section. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button too. And I always get back to all comments. So uh, yeah, any questions, comments, throw them in there. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully this is the end of the video. That means I made it home safely. If it's not, then I got something else to film on the way home. If, if something happens. So hopefully it's the end of the video. Thanks again for tuning in guys. On to the next one.